carbon markets collapse, DiCaprio sends Tesla on a carbon neutral road trip, and Yale 360 wins an award for a film on mountaintop removal. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Monday, March 22nd. Europe's carbon trade is in crisis as two carbon exchanges were forced to suspend trading last week. Panicked investors grew nervous that they had bought recycled permits after a Hungarian loophole saw used permits flood the market. Blue Next and Nordpool, the French and Nordic exchanges, suspended trading in certificates of emission reductions CERs, after the discovery had been made. Concerns over the worthless permits caused the price of certificates to collapse from 12 euros per tonne, that's 1780 US, to less than 1 euro. Leonardo DiCaprio sent off Tesla's 2010 Tag Heuer Roadster from Basel, Switzerland, as it embarked on a 12,000 mile carbon neutral road trip last week. The electric car startup is billing the journey as the world's first around the world adventure for a zero emissions car. The eight month long journey, which takes Tesla through Milan, Moscow, Shanghai, and finally Paris, aims to demonstrate the feasibility of this eco-friendly vehicle technology. DiCaprio will be part of the journey in spirit. Owner of one of Tesla's 244 miles per charge vehicle, he calls his ride an unbelievable drive. And finally, Yale Environment 360 has won the 2010 National Magazine Award for their video on mountaintop removal coal mining. Entitled Leveling Appalachia, the video chronicles the destructive mining practice which has permanently damaged more than a million acres of Appalachian forests. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.